This program is brought to you by Emory University. A new species is being born. You want society to accept you, but you can't even accept yourself. Should we have to hide? Tomorrow, mankind will know that mutants exist. They'll fear us. Well, the story of the X-Men is the story of a reviled minority. And it really isn't even so much about their mutant powers as it is about um, a kind of a uh, dramatic representation of what happens when there's a group that's feared by the majority. And that really is the engine, the dynamic engine that runs the X-Men. Scientifically, what's interesting about X-Men is that in often in majority-minority relationships, you're talking about some physiological difference, racial difference, ethnic difference. So they created one through genetics. Of course, genetically, the X-Men make no sense. There's just no way that through even dramatic mutation, you can, for example, have a normal human being give birth to a human being with wings. Um, a bird's wing or any animal's wing has many, many, many genes associated with it through all kinds of trial and error. An X-Men born with eyes that shoot laser beams. And these kinds of things are utterly implausible as sudden mutations. On the other hand, they're completely plausible as biotechnological developments and we're already developing in different ways some of the kinds of powers that the X-Men demonstrate. There are genetic engineering possibilities for human beings somewhere down the line that would increase things like memory, perhaps attention, maybe even strength, not to superhuman levels, but to perhaps um, mimic the best achievements of the species. Um, even insofar as we might someday be able to borrow traits from animals, we're still never going to reach superhuman abilities. We don't know how to create muscles that exceed the muscles of the strongest creatures on Earth. Um, muscles are made of flesh and have a finite bearing load and things like that. It's only when you combine them with technology can you really talk about truly um, extraordinary types of powers. Right now, it would probably be theoretically possible to create things like glow-in-the-dark humans. The um, bioluminescent genes that we use now routinely in science as markers, as genetic markers, have already been used in uh, mammals and monkeys to create animals that express that gene in every cell in their body so they glow. The thing that stops us from putting these kinds of technologies into human beings are not technical limitations, but ethical limitations. Uh, we really don't know what the impact of um, messing with the human genome in that way might be. And moreover, why? Why would you want to create a human that glows in the dark? Does that have any function? Or is it just curiosity? And one of the great challenges to us is how do we resist the temptation to use genetic um, technologies and that we master in human beings for reasons that are less than life-saving. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.